I feel like I'm gonna throw up right now because I'm so excited. Yeah. Hi, Hi baby. Hey. <laughs> Guys, we're in Montana. <laughs> we fing made it. <laughs> My name's Mariah, and I ride a Harley Davidson Sportster. When I got it, it was an 83, so I put a 1250 kit on it. Now, if I wanted to wheelie this thing, I could. <laughs> My family runs one of the largest nonprofit dog rescues in the country. We wanted to focus on pit bull rescue, and now it's every breed of dog. our first maiden trip together, we decided that Montana was where we wanted to go. It started with us just going on an adventure and wanting to do a different state each time. And then we wanted to do something a little bit bigger. <laughs> so what better way to do it than me and my girlfriends on motorcycles getting to go showcase all of the badass women in this country. The Moto Maidens. It's the five of us with this lust for life. I have never met such adventurous women in my life. The only way it can be quenched is on a motorcycle. They want to make the world a better place, but they want to do it on two wheels. <laughs> we just want to be able to encourage women to go out there and experience life and adventure, taking life by the balls and doing it. And if it is on two wheels, then even more excited about it. I've ridden motorcycles my whole life. I grew up riding dirt bikes with my dad, learning how to work on cars. So that's always been a huge aspect of my life. A little bit later in life, I was introduced to this chopper scene. Not well put together, janky, dangerous machines, and I absolutely fell in love with it. That style of bike just suits my personality. A little dirty, a little polished, you know. <laughs> Linda Lou is straight out of the trailer park. <laughs> She's not the prettiest, but man, is she fun. <laughs> oh my God, the sissy bar, holy sh She pretty. Jesus, man. It took me forever, but she got there. I'm Lex, and I have a Harley 883 XLH Sportster. I'm a silversmith. For this trip, I made my sissy bar. I had a really good time doing that. It took a f***ing long time, though. <laughs> I cannot believe you made that. Look at that thing. Show oh off. <laughs> Show like, off. I'm trying to add all these like, last minute, like, I'm like, where oh, else I can I put your toys? I'm like, motorcycle. I love that, The answer though. is everywhere. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're not wrong. I've always been a thrill seeker, and I've always loved to like chase the road and chase adventures. I Jumped into riding because my friends rode, dude friends, and I was tired of being on the back. Okay, okay. wait, 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 we gotta lean it, because this won't fit through here. So <laughs> when do y'all have to move over? Right, it's yeah. fine, I'm working on right. We're good. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Slow. Woo, all right, all I'm right. coming down. Ready? Yeah. yeah. We're going down. <laughs> Let me make sure I got the front wheel on. Hang on. Oh my God, I guess. Two down. I've been friends with these four women for years and years and years. I have a lot of girlfriends that ride and they all would have been amazing to go on this trip with, but for some reason, everything just played out perfectly and this was the five that I decided to go. I know that all of us are gonna work really, really well together. All of us are very different. We're all really, really similar in the places that I think it counts. I am such an over planner and it's a really big deal to me that if I'm the one planning it, everything goes well for everyone. So learning to just not over plan 
is a huge one for me with this trip. Okay, on to the next. Okay, we need to leave in 10 minutes. Guys, we're doing it. We're, <laughs> we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We are gonna trailer to Whitefish, Montana. No matter what, we have to be back in Whitefish within seven days because our vehicles are there and that's the only way anyone's getting back home. A thousand miles in seven days. It did not leave any room for mess ups. Kinda wanted to tuck the flap so it wasn't flapping. My name is Zoe. I have a 1976 Harley Sportster XLH 1000. I was living in Seattle and me and my best friend both found older Hondas, basically that weren't running. And we're like, let's get these bikes and like figure out how to work on them because we both like had a background in like car mechanics and we just started working on bikes together. Going into this trip, I'm feeling super confident. I've brought all my tools with me and I'm feeling really good about being able to tackle whatever happens. I'm not gonna cuss and then I start doing anything on my bike and it's just cuss word every other second. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes that's just how the cookie crumbles, you know? <laughs> uh, my name's Sabrina and I ride a Harley Sportster. It's a 2006 1200 XL. I always thought motorcycles were really cool. In my household though, I was told that women don't ride motorcycles. That's a man's game. I remember seeing the women's moto exhibit on Instagram and my mind was blown. I'm like, look at all these badass women who are doing what I want to do and I was told I couldn't do. I've always loved Harley. It's just intense, you know, and it's overpowering and like you're the master of this machine. Someone lost the license plate. And then I have well, that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's not on there. Dude, this dog's the best little mascot right there. When Mariah gave me the call about this trip, I couldn't really believe it, man. Like, I'm along for the adventure and the ride and like the sisterhood and the companionship. Like, let's do some cool stuff. Let's see beautiful, amazing things. Life's a little crazy uh, at the moment. And just when you go on a ride with your girls, it's just being in the moment and feeling alive. <laughs> just hoping this mirror doesn't crack and shatter while we're riding. They're not. My name is Amanda. I am in school for radiology technology. I etched my mirrors for the trip to kind of like promo that out while we're on our ride. My favorite part about riding is definitely, not to sound cheesy, but making friends along the way who also ride. I didn't even realize how big the bike culture is. This trip means a lot of things to me. This is the first time that all five of us have ridden together. So I think it's really special to get to do that. I only have one nut, or uh, one. <laughs> <We're five. laughs> What's going on We're here? We're five years old. My bike should shut off. My bike should not be shutting off right now. Hey. If my bike gives me problems, I'm gonna be so mad. We haven't even left yet. It's gonna be my bike. Don't you f***ing dare. Maybe I need to address the idol. Right, where's the good? Good juju. she met on Instagram. I had seen a picture of her in this beautiful all-white chopper. There's just this intensity behind her. 
if a woman is that badass, you're going to go ride in this hot friggin' outfit on that chopper in the snow. I want to meet her. We've all seen pictures of your bike and stalked okay. it. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've all stalked your bike before. It's beautiful. Not as many women ride hardtail motorcycles in that kind of 70s style chopper. With a rigid frame like what Yachty rides, you're taking all the suspension off of your bike and making it as minimalist as possible. Her bike's a little rough around the edges, but still really polished and feminine. And with Yachty being as feminine and badass as she is, I think that her bike suits her and her personality perfectly. Have you guys gone out in Whitefish at all? We didn't have time. We got here last night and had to pack everything. And, and you like, guys are leaving now, too. We're leaving, but we have to, all of our trucks are here, so we have to move back around. So we're going to yeah. be back here in a week. I'm actually from California. My husband's from here. He okay. was born and raised here, but we met in California. Okay. We also met riding. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Yes. We got engaged and eight months later we were here. Long story <laughs> short, oh, my no. shop's like right there. Oh, it's nice. like in so downtown. Yes. I live just down the street too. What kind of salon is it? Is it like hair? Makeup? Esthetician. Esthetician yeah. stuff, okay. okay. Aesthetics and stuff. Yeah, so that's yeah. going. Riding is so different here. It's just. Yeah. You don't worry about people, yeah. you worry about deer. I like peek around corners before so I can see if a deer's yeah. coming or uh -huh. something. <laughs> That's all of our first question when we get hit. How's it's like, how's the bike? bike? <laughs> I'm all right. I'm I'm my okay. first question when I got in a car was, how's my face? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Important yeah. question. How's my money maker? <laughs> how's my face? That's how I make the my money. The difference riding with women, that's what we were just joking about when we were all packing. We had our yes pile, no pile, maybe pile. And then all the dudes, my boyfriend's like, we get excited if someone brings one extra pair of pants. And all of us are like, so we want this for this day, this for this day. <laughs> Got my eyeliner I don't care, I'm not ashamed. <laughs> it's because I want to look cute on my bike. <laughs> what did you say, Savvy? Oh, I didn't Absolutely. get a bike to look like a dork. <laughs> Why do we have to be like, <laughs> looking? You don't got to be rugged. <laughs> I mean, we are. That I'm actually. Yeah. yeah. I look good. Getting to meet Yachty and having someone that has that balance between being really, really strong and fierce and not apologizing for being a woman. It's just I am who I am. And she really, really is just herself. This trip is exactly how I've wanted to do things. On my motorcycle, with my girls, just seeing the four women that are riding with me and how amazing they are, I cannot wait to start meeting all the other women in this country. Wait, no, before we leave, we need to take a picture of all of us together. I love it. I think a big part of the mission is definitely to highlight the other women who are riding and highlighting the women who are doing amazing things, like inspiring each other and building each other up and show the other side of the bike culture because I think for a long time, it's mostly been male dominated. Whoa. She already has juice and stuff out here. It's so cute. There's the morning snorts. I don't know how many people her snort has brought joy to, but I know it's a lot. Savvy and I have been friends forever. There's not a lot of people in the world that I can genuinely and wholeheartedly say just has a pure heart. And I think she keeps me <laughs> that way also. Just being around her, I feel like brightens everybody's day. I need to invest in waterproof mascara with y'all, Jesus Christ. And then we're gonna hit Old Saloon tonight. Yes, we're going to the Old Saloon, which I'm very excited <laughs> I'm about. Excited. Like tourists coming through have bragged about that place so much, and there's always music playing. So, mama needs a hockey talk. <laughs> I can do the electric slide. <laughs> Sabs, so just like checking in to see how you're feeling after like everything. Just your body, like your body. Um, my body? Um, honestly, all the positivity is kind of keeping me from thinking about it. Like on the long stretches, like I'll be like, oh yeah, you're still in pain, but like it's there and it's constant. 
but it's not as bad. So after Mariah called us about the trip, I had been diagnosed with cervical cancer. It's like you got hit by a truck, and I've been hit by a couple. <laughs> um, like, what do you do when you get that news? Like, you know, on this trip, my parents were like, the first thing they said, oh, you can't go. And I'm like, why would I not want to do the one thing that makes me feel alive? There's a difference between want and can't. Yeah. Like, I ride motorcycles because I was told, you can't do that. <laughs> you know? And now being told that I can't have kids. It's like, no, like I didn't want it's them, but now I want them. Yeah, I just needed to really get out and wanted to feel the most alive, because um, next week um, I'm having a full hysterectomy. Everybody should get their paps. Like You are the reason that I made an appointment to go get one and when you called me and told me. I'm really glad that we got to do this trip before your surgery. Um, it's the I, only thing to look forward to. You know, like getting excited, like life-changing trip, get to ride with my girls. I got a huge fucking mouth. You know, I'm very open and talkative about it. I get self-conscious about that because it feels like, like Sabrina's cancer show, like, pity me when I just want people to take care of their health. You would have never <laughs> even known. <laughs> You're just always in good spirits and, like, always just, just the warmth, you know? It just exudes from your body all the time. You're just, like, yeah. this shining light of joy. And the <laughs> and snot. Joy and snot. And that's why we love you so much. Yeah. I want to be like Sabrina when I grow up. She's, she is just the baddest. Like, she, she's going through uh, insane health problems that I can't even wrap my brain around dealing with and then like trying to prepare for this trip. I feel really honored to be here. Yeah. Likewise. Be mm -hmm. If we need to sit on the side of the road and giggle and dance to country music, we will. You're just a f***ing badass <laughs> Right? <laughs> yeah. Cheers to that. <laughs> Salut. This is a group of women where we're like invincible. Like there's not sh we can't do, you know? And I love that kind of mentality and attitude. My savvy saps. We love you. All right, pit crew. I love all y'all. <laughs> all y'all right. right. means all, all y'all. <laughs> Best dang pit crew I could ever ask for. <laughs>